I'm done with my workout, I will have a protein shake. And I've been loving the Alani New Whey Protein and Fruity Cereal. So I take one scoop followed by about three cups of almond milk. This is just unsweetened or regular sweetened uh, vanilla almond milk from Target. I kind of switch between, you know, which flavors I get, but I always get the Simply Balanced because it's usually on sale and it's a good price. And then I blend it in the blender because I find that when I do that, it doesn't have any, um, it just blends out nice. It's not like chunky, so. And with the whey protein and the three cups of almond milk, it comes to 202 calories. Slight intermission to talk about lemon water. I have been drinking lemon water consistently for about a month, maybe a little longer. And I have seen drastic changes in my stomach from drinking lemon water this I swear by it. I feel like I'm much more hydrated than I was when I wasn't drinking lemon water and I see a difference in like my stomach and I like how it tastes. Some people are like, do you ever get sick of having lemon water every day because I have it at work and everything and I'm like, not really. I really enjoy lemon water. So make sure you guys stay hydrated because it's going to make you feel good, look good and what's better than that? So I've showed you guys this recipe before. It's just the guac on the rice cakes with eggs. Very simple. Um, basically steam my eggs. That's how I like to do it because I feel like if I don't steam them and I try to flip them, they just crack. And this is 330 calories. So it's about 2 o'clock now in the afternoon. And for my next meal, this has been one of my go-to meals. You're just going to take a chicken breast thawed out and you're going to slice it and then cut it into like little cubes. And then once that's done, you're gonna transfer it to a sauteing pan that's already been warmed up with some olive oil in it. And for the sides, we're gonna use the 90 second rice, the jasmine rice, and then the Simply Balanced Organic Stir Fry Blend, so good, both from Target. And to season, we're gonna be taking the salt-free Southwest Chipotle from Target as well. And I find with this seasoning, a little bit goes a long way. It's really spicy, so I only like to use a little bit, so use with discretion. And that's our chicken all cooked up. We're going to take a cup of the stir fry, put it in the bowl, followed by half the bag of rice. And then we're going to chop top it with the chicken. And this comes to 380 calories. And it's so yummy, so filling, and so satisfying. Okay, so for a snack, I'm going to have this Oikos Triple Zero Sturry Yogurt, and I'm going to mix in the Cinnamon Oat Clusters Flaxseed Kind Granola, one of my favorite granolas. And I'm going to take a third of a cup and mix it in, stir it up, and then I'm going to top it with some organic honey. And this is one of my go-to favorite snacks. So yummy. So I know I didn't talk about this earlier in the vlog, so I just wanted to come on here and talk about this. This is CLA. I still take this religiously, and this is the brand that I currently am using. It's Tonalyn, and I feel like this really works for me. You have to try. They make different brands with, like, different... I don't know, different types of things inside of these. So it's like whatever works for you works for you. This works for me. This may not work for you. So you kind of have to like trial and error with the CLA. But with the Tonalyn brand, I just have the best results. So I did take two this morning and I take two at night. You can also take two at lunch. You could take it three times a day. But I just take it twice a day. I feel like that's enough, morning and night. And it's a little pricey um, for this bottle. I forgot how much I paid, like $50, $60. But... It's just a supplement that I feel like personally works and a lot of you guys are always asking if I take fat burners and I don't right now but I am kind of looking into potentially starting to take a fat burner just to see if it works and all that good stuff. But yeah, the only supplements I take is this and then I take like my daily vitamins which I've showed you guys before. I take like a multivitamin, um, biotin, and then ester C, which is like a vitamin C on crack. It's just like a really strong vitamin C. And then I take, you know, my whey protein when I work out and sometimes to um, replace a meal. 
And then I never take my pre-workout. I just have coffee in the morning before I work out. So I don't take pre-workout. And then I take my BCA aminos. And that's it really for my supplements. Pretty simple. Still pretty much the same. So before we have dinner, I wanted to just talk about my calories, my fitness goals, and like where I'm at. Kind of just like catch you guys up. So basically before I was cutting weight big time and I was tracking my calories in order to lose weight and I feel like now I'm at a pretty good weight and I don't really care to like lose anymore. I more or less just like want to maintain and obviously build muscle and get stronger but I'm not really at the point where I want to cut any more weight because I feel like for me... I've lost enough weight now it's time to focus on just like building muscle and maintaining so I was eating like 1200 calories a day which might sound like not a lot um, it really isn't a lot but when you're trying to lose weight it was what was working for me so I was eating about 1200 calories a day and now I eat about 1700 sometimes it's like 13 1400 sometimes I don't eat 1700 but for the most part, I do try to stick with having 1,700 calories because, like I said, I'm trying to maintain. I could even eat 2,000 if I wanted, but that's just too much for me. I feel like my appetite is just not there, and it's not that strong. Um, so once I have dinner, I'll be at 1,582 calories, and I have 127 remaining. And yeah, so... I'm still using my fitness pal. I know before I was using a different fitness app, but I went back to my fitness pal. Um, and so I'm still tracking everything. And yeah, um, I'm basically at 144. That's my weight right now. And sometimes it fluctuates, sometimes it goes up, sometimes it never goes lower than 144. But like I said, I don't really go by the scale because the scale is so confusing and deceiving because obviously muscle weighs more more than fat. So once you start to build muscle, sometimes your weight will go up. So I really don't go by the scale. I like, you know, have a scale in my bathroom and I do use it once a week to kind of just like monitor and see everything. But I go by how my clothes are feeling and like my pants, like all my workout pants, my leggings fit super loose in through like the stomach area. And then also, like, my boyfriend, he notices my arms. He's like, your arms are, like, a lot more skinnier. Um, a lot of people notice my face. I notice my stomach and my legs, obviously, are getting really strong. Those are, like, what I notice. I don't notice my face. I don't notice really my arms. Sometimes when I'm working my arms, I'm like, oh, wow, they're getting really toned. Um, but I don't really, like, notice it like everybody else notices. I guess my face dramatically has lost weight. I don't see it. Sorry, I'm yawning, okay. <sighs> Excuse me. I don't see it in my face, but obviously other people do, so... Those are just like my little fitness updates. Um, I'm working out pretty hardcore. I'm taking maybe two rest days. So out of a seven day week, I'm pretty much in the gym, in the gym five days a week, taking two rest days. You know, I've been using my gym in my complex and it's cool and everything, but I do want to get a gym membership because the gym in my complex is lacking. Like, we don't have a bench, we don't have um, all the machines that, like, a regular gym would have. Like, we don't even have stairs, like Stairmaster. I like doing stairs for cardio. It's great for not only, like, losing weight, and it's great for toning your butt and your legs. So, I love doing stairs, but we don't have that here. So, I want to join a gym probably when I get back from my trip to Connecticut. I'm going to Connecticut May 5th through the 15th. I already got my ticket booked and all that. So I'm going home to visit my family for a week. And so I think when I get back, I'm going to join a gym. And what I'm going to do is like still work out, you know, at my complex's gym, but also like go to the gym when I have the time. Like definitely on Tuesday and Wednesday, my days off from work, I'm going to go to the gym and definitely like try to utilize my membership at least two to three times a week that's the goal and then the other days kind of work out at the gym that we have here 
and I think I'll see a lot more results and be able to use a lot more machines at the other gym. I think I'm going to join 24. It's not too far for me and it's a really good gym. So yeah, that's like my little fitness rant goals of like what's going on. So just want to keep you guys in the loop with all of that. <laughs> okay, so I love pasta and I've been loving this Barilla Protein Plus Penne. So good. I'm going to measure out about a cup of it and then put it in the boiling water. We have a sauteing pan heating up with some olive oil and we are going to throw some shrimp in there. And then for our vegetable, I have some leftover Tuscan broccoli. To season the shrimp, I'm going to be using lemon pepper seasoning salt free from Target and some garlic powder. There we have the broccoli, the shrimp, the pasta. And we're going to top it with some mozzarella cheese and so yummy. So for a sweet treat, we're going to take some of the vanilla triple zero yogurt, dark chocolate whole grain clusters by kind, some strawberries, and some honey. I cut up about five strawberries, followed by the chocolate granola, and then we're going to add in the yogurt and top it with honey. So simple, really, really cures my sweet tooth like you wouldn't believe. So it's 7.45, it's almost 8 o'clock, and what you guys just saw me eat right now, well, which I saw me make, you didn't see me eat it, but I just finished eating the strawberry yogurt granola bowl. That is the last meal or like the last snack I'm going to have until tomorrow after the gym when I have my protein. Um, I work out without having anything in my stomach. I basically, it's called intermittent fasting. I've talked about it before. Um, it is so effective and it works so well for me. And honestly, I know a lot of people are like, okay, how do you lift weights and like not pass out? I honestly don't have an answer for that. Um, other than that, like, I eat enough calories to sustain me, um, you know, and even though I'm fasting, I have coffee in the morning, so it's not like I don't have anything in my system, and I feel like the coffee pushes me through. I'm never hungry during my workouts. I'm never, like, starving for food. I don't feel weak, and I always have my aminos during my workout, which obviously helps me with my energy, fatigue, all that, so... It's what works for me. It's how I lost weight the quickest, and I prefer working out in the morning. Um, it works the best for me to work out first thing in the morning. Um, some people can't, or some people prefer to work out end of the day. I'm, like, so tired by the end of the day that I just don't have the energy. So for me, first thing in the morning after I wake up, have my coffee, go to the gym. It's the best thing for me. So today, I went a little bit over my calories. Excuse me. I've had 1,837 calories. I don't really stress about it because I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm pretty much trying to maintain. And honestly, I could eat up to 2,000, 2,500 if I really wanted to with as hardcore as I go with my workouts. I could probably, but I wouldn't because I, I mean, I just, I probably would never go over 2,000 at this point. Who knows? Maybe like down the road, I'll want to bulk. Maybe I'll go over 2,000, but I really, at this point, won't go over 2,000. Like, that's just, like, what I eat. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to tell you guys that, you know, I don't really, at this point, stress about my calories. Um, as long as, like, I don't go over 2,000, which I don't because I don't have that kind of an appetite. Um, yeah, and you got to think about what you're putting in your body. Like putting fruit and yogurt and granola in your body is definitely better than putting ice cream and candy and chocolate in your body, you know? So that's all like going to make a difference, you know? Eating healthy, it's, it's a big lifestyle change. And take it from somebody who, you know, has always pretty much eaten healthy. For you who have followed me for a long time, you know, back home in Connecticut, you know, I was always eating healthy. I didn't really struggle with that. But when I moved to L.A., I couldn't afford to eat healthy. I pretty much lived off of ramen noodles for a couple months, at least six months um, of first living out here. And I didn't really care about my diet. I've talked about this in previous videos, you know. So for two years, I wasn't going to the gym. The only form of exercise I was getting was work, which is good. You know, pole dancing and dancing in general is good exercise. But 
I definitely like gained weight because of like partying, drinking a lot, um, eating whatever I wanted, eating late, like sometimes after work at like five, six in the morning, you're eating at Denny's with your, your girlfriends from work. So all of that, you know, did put weight on me and make me totally out of shape. Um, so now I started training hardcore back in October and it's been October, November, December, January, February, March. It's been six months that I've been like on this bandwagon of being on this fitness journey. Um, and you know, I love seeing the results, but I want more and it's definitely an addiction. It's definitely, um, I'm just really excited just to see myself get stronger, leaner, um, more muscle growth. Like, I'm just excited for the future. It's only the beginning of another journey, you know. Um, I'm excited to go back to school to get my personal trainer certification. I've been looking into that. I need to go to school first. It's like a class, not really school. I need to take a class for my CPR training, and then um, once I'm CPR certified, I can actually go ahead and do the personal training online, which is the route I think I'm going to go. I don't know if I'm going to go with NASM or ACE. If you guys have any recommendations about that, let me know in the comments below. Um, NASM, I think, is like probably more reputable than ACE, but they're both pretty reputable. So I really decided, but I think I'm going to go with NASM just because it's mostly accepted everywhere. Um, but yeah, when I get back from Connecticut, I really want to focus, on, focus on getting my um, personal trainer certification done. And then hopefully by the fall start to look into um, getting into like a fitness studio and working on that journey. Um, that's really, I'm really excited about that. That's just something I really am like more than ready to like embark on. So we'll see, but I hope you guys enjoyed this, what I eat in a day and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.